Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing summer essentials today. Um, I'm a little bit late on the bandwagon because we are in the middle of summer, but I figured why not do it now and then not wait a little bit longer and then we're already into fall. So I'm going to get through my summer essentials, um, but I'm going to divide it into two groups. So this one will be uh, body and hair care, and then I will do another one that's uh, makeup and face, makeup, face, skincare kind of kind of category, I guess you could say. So I'm going to jump right into the body and hair care. So first off, I want to touch base with um, body products. I always like to use a uh, moisturizing body wash any time of the year. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. Um, I do enjoy uh, many different company brands. The one I'm currently using right now is by St. Ives, and it is called Mineral Therapy Moisturizing Body Wash. It comes in a big container. This is 709 milliliters. Um, I don't know what that is in fluid ounces, unfortunately. Um, but it looks like this. It smells, oh, it smells amazing. Um, I have always been a fan of the St. Ives line. Um, I use their scrubs, I use their face um, their face uh, cleansers, um, I've used their body creams, like I just love the entire line. It's, it's quite nice. Um, so I do enjoy this. I don't think this has any parabens in here. No, no parabens. So that is a plus. There are no parabens in this body wash. It is very creamy, very moisturizing. It doesn't strip your skin and you do need moisture in your skin throughout all year long, especially in summertime. Um, just because you are going to be out in the sun a little bit more, the sun will dehydrate your skin. So you need something that will really give your skin moisture. So um, I love St. Ives. Uh, I also love Dove. I don't have Dove right now. I'm not using Dove right now. I'm just showing you guys what I'm using at the moment. And this one is the St. Ives Mineral Therapy. They have other St. Ives scents, so you can choose different scent if you don't like the Mineral Therapy scent. Um, they also have... Um, you can get these at the drugstore, and they also have the Dove body wash, which I also love. That's a really good moisturizing body wash as well. So usually I will use either St. Ives or Dove. I go I go between the two. If, if they're both not on sale, because I try to get them on sale, uh, then I'll use something else. But um, most of the time, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm using either St. Ives or Dove, because they're my two favorite companies for a moisturizing body wash. So I really love that. So when you want to, um, when you get out of the shower and you have, you know, you've just shaved your legs or you have just exfoliated or you know even if you've just washed your body um, I like to use a moisturizer after I dried I dried off and or patted myself dry um, usually I like the Bath and Body Works triple moisture moisture body creams uh, I also like the Dove or the St. Ives uh, body lotions because they're also very moisturizing uh, right now I'm using the Bath and Body Works Aruba coconut um, just because I've had this in my collection since last year and it just smells amazing I love the scent of it I don't like this uh, particular line of lotion just because the, this one does have parabens in them but I you know what I love the scent so much that I just kind of I kind of sucked it up just because I don't usually use a lot of paraben infused products so I figured you know what because I love the scent so much and I was only able to find the scent in this particular bottle last year I sucked it up and I am using it so as you can tell I'm almost done I've been using it throughout the entire summer I use this before bed every night after I shower before bed um, I slather it on my entire body from I would say the shoulders down um, I just use this and this is great um, I picked this up for about two dollars and fifty cents when they were all on sale uh, at the end of last year I think it was um, and it was uh, it was a great steal so that's what I've been using I'm always using a body lotion in the summertime because I'm always in the Sun and the Sun dries out your skin again so you want to make sure you're putting moisture and hydration back into your skin so definitely a moisturizer um, is, is a number one in my books when it comes to summer essentials as well well a number one with the st. Ives or is with the body wash obviously um, and then you know Sticking with body care, um, I also like to carry around a body mist. I know that um, I do wear a lot of perfume, like actual perfume, but I find that body mist is just so much um, lighter for everyday use. And I find that um, like when you're using it during the day, um, that's what you're using it for. Um, 
on an everyday basis, um, during the day, I find that body mists are just more lighter to wear and nice in the summertime because y when you're in that humidity and heat, you just don't want to be wearing a heavy perfume. Um, so yeah, I've been really liking my Calgon. I've had this for like ages and I just love this scent. It was a big bottle as you can see. So I'm at the, um, I'm at the very bottom. And uh, this one is the Calgon, and this is Nourishing Fruit Complex with Papaya Extract. And it's a conditioning body mist. So you could put this on after you get out of the shower, and it's supposed to condition your skin. I don't believe that it's conditioning in all, in all matters. I just think it's a great body mist for a scent. Uh, that's pretty much what I think it is and what I think it does, uh, nothing more. Uh, but I do love the scent, and I'm trying to use it up because I have some other body mists that I want to start using. But I just don't want to, I want to use my oldest stuff first before they go really bad. Like this has actually been a couple years I've had it and it's still going pretty good. Like it never separated, it's no oil difference, the scent is still fresh, it's, it hasn't changed. So I've been really liking the Calgon um, body sprays. But I also have some Bath & Body Works body sprays as well. So you have the option to do either or. Calgon is actually, um, is sold at Shoppers Drug Mart and at... Um, Walmart. So you can find Calgon at your local drugstores if you don't have a Bath & Body Works near you to pick up. Um, you can always pick up a Calgon one. They're just as good. Um, okay, so I'm going into hair care now. Um, those were my three top summer essentials for my body. Um, hair care, I'm going to start off with my uh, shampoo. So I have been using my John Frieda Root Awakening Hydrate & Nourish Shampoo. So this I've been using for quite a while. Um, this is for dry scalp and dry hair. Now, um, it has eucalyptus in the formula, and that's what I love about this shampoo. When you use this shampoo, it makes your um, roots just feel so invigorating and, and tingly that you feel like um, the shampoo is actually activating your scalp and helping your um, scalp, the cuticles in your hair, um, open up so that you know any any new hair can can come through and peek through your, your skin. So I really have been enjoying my John Frieda Root Awakening Shampoo. Um, I did not buy the conditioner to this, um, only because at the time I don't need conditioner, I have conditioner and I don't want to get, like usually I, I would get the matching conditioner with all my shampoos, but just this one I didn't need it because I had so much conditioner, so I never ended up getting the matching conditioner. I can't say too much for the matching conditioner because I've never tried it, but the shampoo is amazing, I really do enjoy it, it does help, um, it does help awaken the, the roots in, in your scalp and really um, jumpstart your scalp and, and help your scalp um, kind of invigorates and invigorating feeling um, especially when you're really hot it's hot and humid out and you need something cooling when you use this this is very cooling on your scalp so it does really feel refreshing so that's what i love about it you can get this at any drugstore walmart shoppers your cvs your alta anywhere you can find um drugstore brands you can find this i love it usually you can find these on sale at walmart for about six bucks when you go on the right time but definitely love this shampoo now you might say, well, you know, your shampoo, what about your conditioner? And um, personally for me, in my summer essentials, I really need a good deep conditioning in my routine for summer, only because I'm constantly outside, I'm constantly in the sun, my hair gets like damaged by the sun rays, and then by me applying more heat to it when I use my flat iron, my curling iron, my blow dry, etc. Um, so right now I have been using the L'Oreal Total Repair 5. Um, you can use any type of deep re repair mask you want. You can't really see in here because I just started the bottle. Um, but really, you can use any type of deep repair mask. Like, I have used macadamia and that oil deep repair mask. I love that one. That's a high-end one, so it's a little bit more on the pricey side. I have used the Moroccan oil a deep hydrating mask. I love that one, too. I just finished that one. Uh, if you've seen my beauty empties um, before this video, then you will know I just finished that one. Um, so right now, I'm working on the L'Oreal Total Repair 5. So I use that as my everyday conditioner because my hair it get, goes through so much um, dyeing and you know sun exposure and heat um, heat exposure, um, especially with hair tools. I I use a deep conditioner pretty much every time I do my hair um, or every time I wash my hair. I I replace it with my from like I replace this from my my regular conditioner. So right now I'm not using a regular conditioner. I'm just using my Total Repair Five as um, a conditioner as a regular conditioner uh, just because of how much damage and how much stress I put on my hair uh, in the summertime so this is a great drugstore option if you want to check it out go check it out you can get it less than than eight dollars I would say sometimes you can find it on sale at Walmart for four so that's a great option for those of you who don't want who want to go a little bit more natural on your deep repair masks on your hair mask on your conditioning um, another option is extra virgin coconut oil 
Um, I have always done this in the summertime when I go to the beach. What I do is I take, like I'm almost done a jar, but I take the coconut oil, I melt it in my hands, or I put it over the stove to melt quicker depending on the time of day and how hot it is outside. Um, and it will definitely liquefy into an oil. I put this throughout my entire hair. Um, sometimes I'll start from my scalp all the way to my end, depending on what I need it for. Don't be afraid to use coconut oil as a deep conditioning mask. Um, it is very good for your, your skin. It's very good for your hair. It's very good for your scalp. Um, coconut oil on your scalp will help you eliminate um, dandruff. So if you have a dandruff problem, I don't recommend head and shoulders because I've used head and shoulders in the past and it has it has made me lose my hair even more than what I was losing before. So I stopped head and shoulders. I started using coconut oil and massaging it right on my scalp. It really did help. It eliminated the um, it eliminated the dandruff and to top it all off because I would run it through all the way to my ends I would um, have the shiniest most nourishing conditioned hair that you've ever seen um, you do need to take your time with this so usually what I like to do is if I know I'm going to the beach I'll put this through my hair um, I'll put it up in a, either a bun or a twist a twist knot at the top um, and then I'll just go to the beach and you know do what I have to do the oil will be in my hair the heat from the Sun will heat up the oil in my hair and it'll open up the cuticles in my hair and let that oil seep through which is what what you want in a, um, a, ho a hot oil treatment and then when you get home and you shower, you shower your hair um, twice. Sometimes it takes three times to get all the oil out, but don't be afraid of that. Um, if you have to wash it three times, wash it three times if you need to. Uh, and then you um, you perform your re regular conditioning routine. So then you would, you know, take your shampoo. You, you would shampoo the three two to three times. You take your conditioner, you condition it, and then you rinse, and then you're good to go. Um, once you towel dry, you blow dry, whatever you do, you'll notice a difference. So this is definitely another one of my summer essentials, especially if I want a really deep penetrated conditioning treatment. I will use this when I go to the beach. It's amazing. It's cheap. You can get this for under $9 at the grocery store, but make sure that it says extra virgin coconut oil. Um, here it says extra virgin and then coconut oil here. Um, I've got this at the at my local um, organic food organic foods something like that at Noah's it's called Noah's here but you can get it at any of uh, any local um, organic food store that you know, carries that kind of stuff you can even get it at the regular grocery store if you really needed it so you can get it pretty much anywhere um, so sometimes when I sometimes most of the time when I don't use hot uh, hot hair tools on my hair after I've showered and towel dried my hair I like to uh, braid my hair and let it air dry or sleep on the braids overnight wake up undo the braids and I have this beachy wave how do I do it is I apply my lush sea spray this stuff is the best stuff I've ever had in my entire life when it comes to beachy wave texturizing spray um, I have, this is my second bottle. Last year I had one of these. I went through it in one summer and that was it. So I had this one uh, for this summer and I've been using it quite a bit. I think I'm down to like here now. Yeah, I would say about to here. So I'm pretty much going to be using this up for the rest of the summer and then I'm pretty much done until the following summer. I'll have to pick up another bottle. But love this stuff. It just gives you the best texture in your hair. It makes those beachy waves look like you didn't even try. Um, well, no. It looked like you did try, but you really didn't try. Um, and this is about $12 at Lush, so it's very affordable in, if you are interested in purchasing it. It is a little bottle, but if you use a little bit, it goes a long way. So just remember that. You don't want to douse your hair entirely uh, and just you know, pour the whole bottle on. A few spritzes through your hair is good enough and it will it will last. So this is another one of my summer essentials for Beachy Waves because I cannot live without this in the summertime. And then finally, um, I actually added this last minute um, because I do use it in the summer and pretty much only in the summertime. And it is for your hair. So this is the Nioxin Scalp Treatment. This is an SPF 15 sunscreen for fine hair. So basically um, what I do is, this is basically a sunscreen for your scalp. You're like, huh? Sunscreen for your scalp? Yeah. Um, not many of you may know, or maybe you do, but you know, when you're asked to wear a hat because you don't want to get sunstroke, well, that's why. Um, sometimes you don't have a hat or you don't have a bandana, you don't have something to cover your head, so you need something to protect your scalp. Uh, this is one of the best scalp sunscreens I have ever had. It comes in a pump form. It's a, it's a foaming uh, type of product. Uh, I'm going to show you right here. So it, I don't know if you guys can see, can you guys see? There you go. So it comes in a, in a pump form. Uh, and you foam it out. It's it doesn't smell that bad. It actually smells like mint, to be honest. So you rub it through your fingers, and then you just kind of 
rub it through your scalp at the very, very end, and you massage it in, and that's supposed to help give you the uh, sun protection that you need on your on your scalp if you're not wearing a hat, a, um, a hat or a bandana or something uh, to protect yourself from the sun. I do love this. I only use this uh, in the summertime. I've had this now for two years, and um, I used it last summer, and I use I use it this summer, and I still have some left in this travel size bottle. So it is a pretty good product. Um, I don't even know if it opens up. Oh, maybe it does. What do you know? Oh yeah, I still have half a bottle left. Um, so that is that is my last product for my summer essentials for hair and body. Um, I don't know how much this is in full price for full size, but I know that Ni Nioxin is a very expensive brand. You're probably looking around twenty to thirty dollars for a big size bottle. Um, but you know that's that's fine. I'm not um, I'm not concerned about it because a little one take goes a long way. And that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do hope that you all have a great week and stay tuned for my summer essentials for makeup, makeup, well, face makeup, skincare, I guess you could say, uh, for the face. So don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.